On this day of April 9th, 2012, it's finally here. I'm going to show it to you. Uh, a tiny, adorable, plush lion with big eyes. Yeah, that is adorable and awesome. You're never going to find anything any more awesome than this. Yeah, you don't want to see this thing, do you? No. That's not what you came to this video to see. You came to see that, right? Just a box. I don't know why I came over here to see that. Well, I guess there's something in here or something like that. So I guess we'll open it because you so badly want to see me talk about whatever's in here. I don't even remember. I ordered something a few weeks ago. I have no idea what it is. Oh, be, I order stuff offline all the time. And, uh, oh, what's this down to? Holy sh! Okay, so Demon Hunters True Defiance is officially here. I'm going to show you the candle that I pre-ordered. You could have either pre-ordered this with a shirt or a candle. I chose the candle because I already have so many band shirts that it's... It, I don't need any more shirts. Wow, it's even got a poem on there. If you want to read it, you should go buy one yourself. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. And you can almost use it for a drinking glass once you're finished uh, once you're finished burning it all off, which is what I intend to do. Imagine drinking Guinness in this thing. That'd be epic. All right, now here's the actual deluxe edition box. It almost looks like, uh, like a collector's box you'd see for, let's say, a, a 45 RPM record. I just find that interesting. It's kind of like a big square box. It's not the same uh, dimensions as the World of the Thorn. The World of the Thorn was smaller, but it was a deeper box. Let's open this thing and uh, see what's inside, and I'll talk about it. It is what you like to see me do on these videos, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Got this all nice like. Let me situate the camera in a more desirable way so you can see this a little better yeah the angle better. there we go all right opens up with uh, with this thing it's a pendant looks very cool it look right it's it's kind of like a cross you know you used to go into churches and stuff especially like with the Lutheran or Catholic churches they'll have like crosses and there's like a banner on you know on the two arms of the cross. Very nice. It has a very rugged feel to it. It definitely doesn't feel like uh, super fine tune quality, and that's exactly what they were going for. It's a, it's a, a aesthetic imperfection. Artistic imperfection, rather, and that's, that works really well with this. I really like it. And uh, it's awesome because, like Ryan Clark in his own video about this thing said, you can use it to defend yourself. Yeah, I, I hope, I really hope that a lot of uh, young girls uh, who are into, into Demon Hunter get this, because this is going to be really awesome if, you know, they're in their car and some creep tries to get up them and you just go, Psh! Anyway, yeah, that's enough of that. Yeah, really heavy cardboard, so in case you want to keep the pendant in here for an extended period of time, or you could just frame it right in there. Yeah, that thing's got a lot of uses. Very versatile. You get a lot for just that one piece of metal. Anyway, so we've got that aside. We've got the poster. Let me see if I can unravel the bloody thing. And no, it's not actually bloody. That would be really concerning. Let me switch with the camera in a way where you can see the thing. But you still can barely see that. There you can go. You can pretty much see that pretty well. That is one of the main album covers for it, and there's also this other one that's in red. 
I particularly like this red one because just because of the fact that it's red reminds me a lot of the first album and that's a good thing. Anything they do that reminds me of the first album is definitely a good thing. So let's fold this thing up. I'll definitely never hang it because I wouldn't know which side to hang it as and it's too well printed and I don't really want to hang it up. This is the art book sort of dealie. It's got that same cross little thing on there. It's actually very well drawn. I actually really like the way they uh like the way they did that. Very high resolution, very large. Stapled. They did a good uh, location for this. And there's the linear notes there. You know what the what who they thanked and uh, who did what. And there's Ryan with his beard again. Going back to what reminds me of their first album, Ryan Clark had his beard like that long ish in the music video for Infected. So he grew his beard back out for this photo shoot, and that makes him freaking amazing serious i am so envious of that beard because my facial hair does not grow that long or that well but the thing is if you want to watch some more recent videos he posted of himself he shaved it again why did he do that anyway well it is getting into the summer and having a beard can get pretty hot under there but also shaving can hurt in the summer if you those of you who, men who've had beards and have shaved them during the spring I being one of them, I shaved my mustache. But that's another story. It's this guy, Patrick, Patrick Judge. He's been the guitarist for the past couple of albums. It's all of them. Yeah, I really like uh, the photo shoot they did for this one. They took a good location. I remember uh, with the, what was it? With the Triptych record, they did photo shoots in multiple locations and multiple sets, which was really cool for the time. Because they were going for a more, uh, I don't know, cinematic sort of, you know, appeal with that album. This one's more just straight up, you know, metal with their uh, with their aesthetic for the presentation of their albums. Which is kind of like what they did with The World's a Thorn. Even though The World's a Thorn had a lot more progressive elements in there. This is the new guy they had added. Jer Jeremiah Scott. I don't really know too much about him, although he looks familiar. He's very familiar. I think I probably saw him in another band. That's a pretty good wide shot. Well, that's that little art booklet thingy. And then, instead of having the lyrics in a booklet like all normal people do, which, thank God, Demon Hunter's not normal. It went with a very, very interesting artsy attempt at presenting lyrics they put it all on cards so you can read the cards like that rosary a broken clock yeah, I could I could do a whole video just on these just trying to explain what all this stuff means but I'm not going to do that because ooh somebody's been drinking something yay or maybe not yay depending on your point of view who cares um Got teeth. Yeah, nothing says metal like nails. Those aren't teeth, those are nails. <laughs> and nothing says metal like a scythe or a blade. Lungs. Putting nails and scythes in a, in a set of lungs, that sounds dangerous. <clears throat> Which is probably the point. Broken key, hmm. Called resistance, hmm. Very interesting. Rose petals. I will be honest, my knees are actually hurting from doing this because I don't exercise. So I'm going to be keeping this brief. Cockroach. Yeah, there's a... Every time recently in metal, people have been putting cockroaches in there. If you've seen one of the... Oh, that reminds me of the Quake logo. But anyway, if you've seen uh, Norma Jean's more recent music videos, there's cockroaches all over the place. Or at least drawings of them. Very strange. I don't know what makes people think cockroaches are metal. Anyway. And here we go, in much better quality than the last one of the Lux, the Lux Edition cases that were just paper. Oh, look at that. Nice hard, hard cover. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's just a good design. I, I don't really have any comments to say. I just really like that. Very simple. Very simple. I like that. 
Although it's not labeled that it's audio or that it's or that it's the DVD, which is kind of problematic. You'd want that on the actual disc, but it does say what it is in the actual book. At least they did specify there. Let's see, does this say DVD on it? Yes, it does. So there is a way to tell the difference between the two. This one has the nails from one album cover. This one has the crown of thorns from the other one. Very, very nice, guys. Very nice. Look forward to watching this DVD and putting this CD on my computer and finally listening to it all the way through. Well, stay tuned for my, uh, be sure to stay tuned for my review of the actual full-length album itself, the music, which is the most important part of the whole package here, is their music. If there's anything that Demon Hunter has always completely excelled at, it is fan service. So, cheers to Demon Hunter on their sixth record, which is so hard for me to say the word sixth. I hate that word. I can't wait till their seventh album comes out. And I'll talk to you about that, uh, my opinions on that later. So until then, I have a candle to start burning. I wonder what it smells like. It's probably unscented or else, you know, it's most likely unscented because if it was scented, then that would mean that it would have specified what scent it was. Not that it entirely matters, because it's just there for a show, and if you want something to smell, light some incense. Which would actually be a really good idea. Light some incense, and light this candle, and listen to this album, and watch the DVDs. I think I'm going to do that right now. So, thank you for watching my videos, and be sure to tune in and watch the rest of what I have to say. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Oh,